Hi everyone, welcome back. Many businesses use multiple warehouses to handle goods, often to source products from diverse places or streamline their supply chains. This is especially important for companies operating in various locations and managing various products as they often need to transfer items between these locations. So here in this video, we'll see how we can manage the inventory transfers. So for that, let's get into the inventory. And here you will be able to see all the operations that is created. And uh, here in the inventory, we can also manage different warehouses and locations. So if you're having multiple warehouse and location that we can create it. So here under the configuration menu, you can see warehouses. So whatever warehouses are there, you can just create it. And also regarding the locations also, we can create multiple locations. So based on that, uh, the transfers can be done. So here under the operations menu, you can see transfers. So select that. So whatever uh, transfers uh, that has been done, you can see it from here. So in this page, you will see all the transfers which are old and which are current transfer that you can easily track it uh, based on their status. And here you can see all the contacts. So whoever is the vendor or for the customer that we can see it here and in order to create a new transfer you can just click on the new button so here in this page you can add the contact details choose the operation type so if you are receiving the products means you can choose the operation type as receipt and from whom you are receiving the products that uh, vendor details can be mentioned here here you can add the vendor's name and uh, choose the products so which all products that you are receiving from this vendor you can add it here and the number of quantity that you are ordering that you have been uh, received from this vendor that we can mention it and then save it and you can just mark it as to do so here you can set the quantities and uh, validate it so when you check this uh, product you can see uh, the stock will be updated so here you can see the operation type is received and the destination location is warehouse stock so whatever product, how many number of quantities that we have received here, that will be uh, going to this uh, destination location that will be stored here in the warehouse stock. So let's uh, check this product. Here you can go to the products and uh, select the product. So this is the product that we have uh, created the transfer. And you can see the quantity is also updated. So now uh, we can again create another transfer. You can choose another operation type. So here uh, we can select the internal transfer. So in this case, you don't have to select the contact person's name because in internal transfer, we don't have to mention the contact as the transfer is made within uh, within the warehouse so uh, here the source location we are taking the products from this source location and the destination location we can just change it so the products will be moving from warehouse stock to this uh, destination location that is to shelf one so here i am choosing the same product so i am doing the internal transfer that is uh, two quantities i have been moving from this uh, warehouse stock location to the destination location so now i am just saving it and uh, you can mark as to do And then you can set the quantities and validate it. So now again we can go to that uh, product. 
and see what happens for the stock. So here you can see the on hand is still eight quantities and now the location of this product is eight quantities are on this uh, warehouse stock location and two quantities has been moved to this uh, shelf one location and uh, now again we can go back to the transfers and create another operation type so here I am choosing the delivery orders as the operation type and you can choose the delivery address that is to whom you are delivering this product that we can choose the customer's address here and the product we can just select the same product and see. So I am moving one product I'm delivering one product to this customer so I'm just saving it and uh, here in the additional info also you can just add the shipping information you can just uh, choose the carrier and the shipping policy and the responsible person also you can if needed you can just change it and then save and you can just mark it as done set quantities and, uh, here also you can see uh, the source document so if there is any sale order that has been created for this uh, product you can add the sale order number here and then you can just validate it so now one quantities has been uh, delivered and that is taken from this source location So here you can just go to the reporting and open stock. So let's search for the product. So as you can see on now on hand it is nine quantities are there. So in the same way when we check the product also. You can see nine quantities on hand. And that one quantity has been taken from this location stock location so when we check the transfer we'll be able to see all the transfer that is created so here we can just search for the product so whatever transfers that has been created for that product that we'll be able to see from here. So from where, which location that has been taken and uh, to which location that the product has been delivered that we'll be able to see here and the status also. So in this way we can create a different transfer for various operation types. So here you can select all the operation types and uh, based on that we can create different transfers. So that's all in this video. Thank you.